Hey guys, it's Lucas from Better Coding Academy. In today's video, I will be showcasing something that I put together recently in light of the latest Avengers movie. Now, this video will not have any spoilers, but essentially we're going to be having a look at this Iron Man that I designed. I won't be showing you how to put it together bit by bit. However, all of the code is available online on GitHub. You should find that linked below as well. And we're going to be going over the few things that I did in here in order to make this work. So I just wanted to start off maybe by having a look at the repository. So you can find it under my GitHub under Iron Man here. It's also available online at ironman.surge.sh where you can have a look at it like so. Let's have a look at the source code, which you can download yourself as well. And I've got a few pages open here. So the first thing I want to point out is that this is made entirely using HTML and CSS. I didn't use any clip paths and I didn't use any SVGs because if I did so, it would make it a lot easier, a lot more practical and a lot more useful. However, I decided to go with some old school CSS and simply use some CSS shapes. So it's a little bit more old fashioned, quirky, but it's a lot more fun. And I'm just going to explain how I put it all together in a little bit of detail. So I've got it running over here. And just to explain how to get it running is if you download the code for the first time, you're going to have to run yarn or you're going to run npm install. Now I would recommend that you use yarn because yarn is what I was using. And you can tell because I have a yarn.lock file. Now I'm not sure why a package.lock package lock file is here. I'm just going to delete that after this video. So you're just going to see yarn.lock. So rule of thumb is if you see this file, you can just type yarn here and it will let you uh, install all of your packages. Now that was really, really quick because I was already up to date. So in order to get it running, you can just run yarn watch and this will start a server at localhost 1234. So I've got that open right over here. There we go. Now let's have a quick look at how I put this thing together. So if you do right click inspect element, you'll notice that the Iron Man is made up of lots of little parts. Uh, we can kind of press H on our keyboard here to show to show and hide each part of the Iron Man. And it just kind of shows you how this thing was all put together. So if you are having a look through and you want to figure things out for yourself, that is what I would recommend you do. The other thing I would recommend you to do is to change the background color of things so you can see which parts come together. For example, a lot of it here is this shade of yellow. However, if you change parts of it to blue, you'll notice that it becomes, well, blue. And that allows you to see essentially how these bits and pieces come together. So in making this whole project, I used a couple things that I want to go over very quickly as well. Uh, the first thing is parcel. So parcel is very similar to Webpack with the only difference being that it is zero configuration. If you go into your code editor and you go inside package.json, you'll notice I have a script, a build script here and a watch script. So the watch script here goes to parcel index.html. It runs parcel index.html, uh, which then which is this file here. And then this file includes style.scss. So what parcel does is it actually figures out that because this isn't a .scss file, it needs to compile it down into CSS. And it does that for you in real time. And you don't have to install any other dependencies. So this one here, this SAS dependency was actually installed by parcel. So the only thing I had to install was parcel itself. And if you, you can choose to install parcel locally, or you can install parcel as a global dependency. Either way, you can just use it inside of your project uh, like so. And it's super duper simple to set up, which is why I used it here. The other thing I want to talk about is uh, Surge. So Surge is a really, really great NPM command line tool. It lets you publish websites to the internet for free. So for example, I published mine to ironman.search.sh completely free of charge. Uh, and it's just, it's really cool. You can have a look at it, mess around with it yourself and uh, see if it is useful for your situation. The other thing I used is inside of uh, style.scss and in index.html, you'll notice my class names. They're written like iron hyphen man underscore underscore head hyphen hyphen part one. And you might not understand what that means. Well, this is actually a naming convention for CSS class names and it's called block element modifier. So that's BEM over here. You can have a look at that yourself. Uh, my personal view on this is that it's extremely verbose. As you can tell here, the class names get very long. However, I haven't used BEM in a long time and I just wanted to try it out for this project, which is why I chose to use it here for the majority of the class names. Uh, and that's pretty much it. The rest of it is just in the SCSS. It's in the index.html. Uh, feel free to mess around, have a look at it, uh, see how it works. 
Um, and when I put this thing together, I used five main shapes. So the five main shapes here that I used are, are these five here. Now the first one is a rectangle, a square, or some variant uh, like so. A circle, this thing here I call an eyeball, because it kind of looks like an eye if you turn it around a bit. This is a triangle and this is a trapezium. So these are the five shapes that I used to put the Iron Man together. So one example here I can show you is if you inspect element here, you'll notice that there's a head part one. So if we hide everything else, just like so, just hide it all. Uh, and a few bits left there, you'll notice that head part one is actually just a circle or very, very close to a circle, if not a perfect circle, width and height. So it's very, very close to a perfect circle. It's a little bit elliptical uh, and that's the top part there. Uh, for example, this part here, in order to get this curve is uh, the front left part one. It's this curve left up here. So curve left here, if we change the color to blue and we hide front left part one, you'll notice that it's that weird eyeball shape that I was talking about. So essentially it's just lots of these little things put together uh, in intricate ways with intricate layering. So the order of these is very important as well uh, to finally get the whole Iron Man. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to showcase this Iron Man that I put together. Uh, I wanted to show the technologies that I used in order to make it happen. Uh, all of the source code is available on my GitHub, as I said, it's all linked below and you can find it online as well if you wanna just have a look at it. So that's it for this video. I'm Lucas with Better Coding Academy and see you guys later.